Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, oh my god, June 1st, 2017 by Gaia Blooming. Do you remember when it was like January 1st? <laughs> I'm like, June 1st? Am I really going to say this? Yes, June 1st. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is inside, outside, above, below. I see connection wherever I go. <laughs> I love it when it rhymes. And today, wow, we have got an interesting day. We have really interesting astro. Actually, almost every single sign in the astro is being lit up by something significant right now at this time, except for Cancer. Cancer right now is like chilling, waiting for Mars to enter just in a few days. Um, but every other sign has activity, has connection, has planetary or asteroid or nodal action going on. In and through this, we have some interesting connections that are going on. We have a grand trine in Earth. So we're really working on grounding, being present in this physical moment. We also have are building into this immutable cross energy going on. So even as we're grounded, there's change afoot. There's change happening. Um, we are in, we also have kind of a bit of a grand trine and fire going on, which is probably one of the catalysts for the change. But I, I love that we have this balance of the fire energy, which is catalyzing the change, attuning us to our passion, and yet that grounded energy, which is like, and you're safe and everything is okay, and this change is ordained, this change is allowed, this change is meant to be. Um, so, our first connection today is a square between the sun and the moon. So we have the sun in Gemini. I'm like, where is it? It's Gemini. It's in Gemini, and the moon is in Virgo. So these mutable energies. This is 11 degrees, and this is kind of the basis of the energy mantra for today, that 11 energy, that mirroring energy, that healing energy. Ultimately, 11 energy is one of self-mastery. It is one of healing, but we're going to really see this in this Gemini energy by being twinned or mirrored outside of ourselves. So pay attention to what is drawing your attention that is outside of you and what it has to do with you. How do you take that and work the, with that in and through you? Because this is going to be showing you where some of this change that's going on, going through, needs to work in and through you. Um, we have a beautiful trine today, which I think is like the highlight of the energy today and the most important thing. Um, and I have some cards that really resonate with this. We have Venus in Aries trining Saturn in Sagittarius. Now, Venus and Saturn trine each other. This is like, who are you? <laughs> What's your worth? And how are you showing up for it? Now, Saturn retrograde in Sagittarius is like, and where are you holding these beliefs that are holding you back from still embracing the fullness of your I am vibration? Now, what I love is that this trine, this is at 25 degrees, the north node is at 27 degrees in Leo. And so the north node is feeding into this energy. The north node is like, this is important. <laughs> what you love is important. What you want to play is important. What helps you feel like you're thriving, the fire within, thrive. This is important. And it's important to shed, release, let go of any of those old beliefs, any of those truths, any of that knowledge that you've picked up over the years, knowledge, <laughs> that may be holding you back from fully embracing your I am. So that Venus really wants you to know the worth, own the worth of that I am vibration. And that Saturn energy is like, yes, you can show up. Here's what you need to shed in order to show up. And then that Leo North Node energy is just, it's lighting up the whole thing. I have some cards. I have, I'm using Ganesh today. Ganesh and the shapeshifter cards, and both of them have us pointing at really honoring ourselves. So with that, with that energy mantra, inside, outside, above, below, I see connection wherever I go, bring it back to you. How does this reflect on you? Where is it reflecting in and through you? And how do you work with this energy? Like I said, there is some change, and this change is about getting grounded within the self, but... It's, it's not the outside that needs to change. It's pointing, reflecting back at you 
bringing you into a deeper healing within yourself. That being said, this moon in Virgo <laughs> brings up the mental energy as well as the Gemini energy. I posted this on my Facebook page and I posted this on Gaia Blooming. One of the important things to remember with Virgo energy, while it does stimulate the mind, it does stimulate the mental energy, Virgo attunes us to the body and every cell in your body has its own intelligence. What I said in that post is my body has always known things before my mind gets gets even a tiny grasp of what's going on. The body has its intelligence. So part of bringing this attention back to you over this next, you know, day as we finish out the moon in Virgo, listen to your body to help you navigate these changes. The card from Ganesh is the priorities card. Listening to that will help you be in your personal flow and harmonize in and through yourself. So often we look outside of ourselves and do that outside of ourselves, but this is really what's going on. What do you need? How how do I serve you right now? Oh, I love that. My body just really like that. How do I serve you right now? <laughs> it's a good question to ask your body in and through this day. Um, so that being said, this moon is also making a few other connections in and through the day. We have the moon opposite Neptune. Now oppositions are such an interesting transit because they can be like a tug of war or they can be let's work together. And to me, this is an opportunity to work together, together to let your higher self, to let your guides bring you information how to move in and through this present energy. I do feel, you know, there is some of this mental strong arming going on within yourself. You're fighting yourself. The mind has its thoughts. It's like, this is what you should do. And it's like, no, that's not going to lead you to this, which is where you want to go, the harmony and the flow. You've got to let, set the mind out to pasture. It has good duties. It has things that it needs to do, but you need to tune into a deeper intelligence and get them to work together. So that to me is like, here's your higher self feeding into this wisdom, bringing you answers to help you move in and through this day and in and through these changes that are happening. The moon will then meet up with Pluto. Pluto has now shifted back to 18 degrees. So if you have 18 degrees Capricorn or 18 degrees Cancer especially or even like 18 degrees anything Libra or Aries, you may be feeling this now with Pluto strongly interacting in and through your chart. If you are somebody who looks at your chart, check that out. Um, 18 degrees, that is a nine. So here is this passion. And to me, it's like restructuring, allowing this fire, like I said, we have this grand trine and fire, allowing this fire to have its place in your life. One of my favorite memes I posted is like people will take your hand and try to take you this way and this way and all these things and say, this is important and this is important. And you must take your hand back and say, no, this is important. And I'm getting this message really strong today. Inside, outside, above, below. I see connection wherever I go. And how is it connecting you right back to the heart of you, to the shine of you? Now, the final aspect today, which is very interesting. There's two things that I want to talk about before we finish up with the cards. Uranus is connecting to the North Node. Now, I believe this is part of the shift, part of the change. This is at 27 degrees. Again, that nine energy, that passion energy, which is lighting us up. And it's a two, which is like, let's find the balance. Let's find the harmony in this. Let's, uh, let's work with Let's work with feeling good in this. And then the seven, which is like, there's a spiritual component in and through this as you connect to this passion. But Uranus is like, there are things that need to be shook up. There are things that need to go so that you can be on this path, so that you can follow your yellow brick road. And so this may be part of the changes and the shifts that are going on. Not to mention we are building in a square. It's going to be tomorrow that it reaches the exact one, right? Tomorrow? Yeah. I can't see my little things written right now. But anyways, Chiron and Mars are building into a square. They're pretty much square right now, but they're building deeper into it. Um, and so this square energy may have you resisting what needs healing at this time in order to keep moving forward. You must address the healing. <laughs> you must address what needs to be healed. This is going to help you on so many levels. Now, you may not necessarily know it needs to be healed. Keep seeking that harmony. Keep seeking the flow. If you're feeling like something is not flowing, if you're feeling that fighting, if you're feeling the shoulds, if you're feeling that burden, that's your place to look. That's the area 
that's reflecting that something at this time needs a shift. Now, what I want you to do is prioritize. <laughs> this is, of course, not the priority card. This is Artemis, Artemis of the Forest, but I love this card. It says, you are independent and free. And it basically talks about Artemis, this hunter, taking this aim, but knowing that she was self-sufficient, knowing that she could take care of herself. What do you need to do to take care of yourself at this time? If you can take care of yourself, it's going to draw in these things that you want, but you've got to take that aim and find that independence. Like, I know what to do. I am connected through and through. I love all these rhymes that are coming to me today. <laughs> I know what to do. I'm connected through and through. So really connect in and then keep aiming, aiming your beacon of love in that direction that you want to go. The priorities card is just that. What is your priority? Making yourself, making your I am your priority. Connection in and through yourself. Taking off the masks of the twin self. You know, we talked about Gemini, how there can be multiple personalities that come through with the Gemini energy, realizing that you don't have to be anybody other than what you are and making that your priority at this time. So really this focus on the self is very important in and through this energy, grounding in within the self at this time will help you move through this with as much grace as possible. Now, like I said, this mutable cross that's going on, you may feel a little indecisive in and through this. If you keep coming back to your har harmonious self, if you keep coming back to what do I need in this moment? <laughs> what is being reflected at me that's showing me what I need at this moment? You will make this as graceful as possible. <laughs> you know, it's not a, it's not bad astro. It's not hard astro. What I think is difficult is the mental energy that's being stimulated. And some of us, I get this way. When I get overly mentally stimulated, I'm like, I don't know what to do and blah, blah. And that's when it's like, okay, whew, what do I feel? What is my body telling me? Come right back in and that will serve you. Okay, so I have my reading sale going on $44 for half an hour. I'm loving the people who I'm connecting with. Thank you, everybody who's purchased a reading. Thank you for supporting me. And I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.